Hey you guys, welcome back to Brit's Craziness. My name is Brit and welcome. Today's Cook With Me, it's another Pinterest hit or mint. So if you're interested in this and a new recipe, just stick around and let's get into it. I just showed you the recipe as well as some clips of this video so I hope that made you interested. I'm going to show you what I bought for ingredients. I got this Giovanni Rom Ronata. I don't know how you say it, but this is the uh, tortellini that I bought or my husband bought because he went to the store instead of me. And this is 18 ounces whereas the recipe requires, not requires, but they say 20 ounces, so I thought 18, 18 is good enough. Let me move this so you can see my face. So I got this tortellini, but you can buy any tortellini that is in your local store. I have one pound of uh, ground beef that is um, browning up right now. One 24 ounce um, can of tomato sauce, and I got tomato and basil, so I thought that would be delicious. He couldn't find just tomato sauce, so he found tomato and basil, and we love tomato and basil. Um, one eight ounces of cream cheese, so that's what we got. Clover Valley, um, one to two cups, one second, of mozzarella. So this is one pound, which equals four cups, so I'll only use half of this for our mozzarella. That's what I'll use for that. And then a half a cup of grated parmesan. This is what we got from Walmart. So I'm excited about using that. And then salt and pepper to taste. Um, they do use, um, in, the, in the recipe that I will link down below, it does show that they use some salt, garlic powder, pepper, and Italian seasoning. So you use whatever seasoning you like to taste. So that's, I'm gonna brown up the hamburger now and then we'll get on to the rest of it. I don't know what measure this size this is, but this is what I'm using, and this is how I buttered it or greased it. So I just used this and I sprayed it all over it. Put the tomato sauce in with the cream cheese you just wait till it all melts together and looks so so yummy so I'm doing this backwards I'm cooking the noodles after I cook the meat sauce but this bag said I only had to cook it for three minutes and that was awesome for me so that's what I'm doing here and just stirring in the noodles and letting it cook for three minutes please going so it yay. was boiling so I'm assuming it'll start boiling again. <laughs> um, so that's that. This is the meat sauce. It looks amazing. You probably saw this yesterday because I did a boomerang on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will put my Instagram handle here. Just go check it out. I post a lot on my stories about my videos. What's upcoming? Seconds. And then these will be done. Yay! And then after that, 
you have to broil it for two to three minutes and then this will be your end result and it looks and smells amazing and it tastes amazing so it was a really good hit for us. We definitely like this meal. It tastes really, really good. Kind of like lasagna, but with tortellini uh, pasta instead of lasagna. Um, but it was so good. Y'all definitely have to try this out. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching. Love and God bless. Bye.